morning. My name is Roberto Pontremoli. I'm an associate professor of internal medicine at the University of Genoa Medical School. The topic of my talk uh, today is uh, the presence of a J curve between uh, blood pressure reduction and the renal function. It has been proposed recently on the basis of uh, the analysis of uh, many trials that uh, there is a J curve between uh, blood pressure reduction uh, by means of uh, antihypertensive treatment and the renal function. This is a paradoxical increase in morbidity when uh, blood pressure is reduced uh, below 140 and 130 millimeter of mercury in a patient with CKD. And as a matter of fact, uh, analysis of the literature uh, recently support this concept. There is an intrinsic limitation uh, in terms of renal protection when you lower blood pressure by means of uh, antihypertensive treatment, especially when you use uh, inhibitors of the renin angiotensin system. This is particularly so uh, when uh, we're dealing with patients without overproteinuria, proteinuria, which is by far the vast majority of patients with CKD. So uh, even recent trial, the SPRINT trial and other trials, uh, uh, the results from this trial support this hypothesis. Uh, so, th this is a very tricky situation because uh, recently we have realized that uh, uh, at variance with what has been uh, observed in a reduction of uh, uh, cardiovascular events and cerebrovascular events in recent years, there hasn't been uh, a real uh, improvement in the protection of uh, the kidneys uh, from blood pressure and atherosclerosis, from hypertension and atherosclerosis. So, this is something that needs to be uh, assessed in the future with uh, uh, new and uh, specific trials in order to uh, uh, assess what is the ideal blood pressure value for patients with CKD and what is the uh, best uh, antihypertensive regimens. Mm -hmm.